guys, welcome to do another episode of Assassin's Creed. I don't know why I sounded a bit Italian then. <laughs> but we're gonna do we're gonna do another Charles Dickens memory. Yeah, this one's called the Berlin Specimen. Although I swear that sounded that 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 looked like Charles Darwin, not Charles Dickens. Yeah, I thought it was Charles Darwin. You mean you read the name wrong? Oh well. <laughs> Last time we done a mission for him, he had us blow up a factory, so at least it'll be fun. I didn't know you had a twin sister, Mr. Fry. Evie Fry, sir. It's a pleasure. Usually I would reciprocate the sentiment, Miss Fry, but today I'm afraid nothing will bring me pleasure. What's troubling you, sir? I am used to people challenging me. He didn't ideas. even know we had a sister. I live Bad. The cut and thrust of spirit. No, I didn't even. I'm just joking. Lately, however. <laughs> Attacks against my reputation have taken a darker turn. Threats Last time he had us blowing up in fact, yeah, I wonder what he's going to make us do this time. Against my colleagues. I do not wish Talk to anyone he's a bad because of my research. Last time you said a man with bifocals and a massive <laughs> beard was a, was a bad influence. What's Charles Darwin going to do? Explain his theory of evolution while they're beating him up. He looks like, he looks like Santa, actually. He's got a smarter version of Santa. Santa? Yeah. yeah, if Santa was haggard and couldn't drive the reindeer anymore because he was blind. Pressure it takes to shatter, snap. <laughs> okay, so we've got to uh, locate Dr. Swartz. Dr. Swartz? Yes. Sounds like some bit, some sexually transmitted disease you get. Oh no, that's genital warts, isn't it? <laughs> Dr. Swartz, I think, maybe German. No. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I'm just guessing from the name, really. So we got to locate this doctor, and I'm guessing the idea is not to assassinate him this time. I don't fucking know. Look at this getting far enough in the mission, before I can tell you. Why did you climb up on the building, just to, to, well, Because you didn't want to go round it. Yeah, I was being lazy. Oh no, hold on, I needed that actually. I can say you you do realise. Why did that fucking spider around in the building? Look at him. Yeah, at least he can hang on to it. Be worried if he falls off. He was like. Hang on, who's that outside going, ah! Oh, it's okay, now I've got to locate Dr. Swartz. Shit, I, I said that and I said that on the other fucking side. Dr. Swartz, where are you? You do realise this isn't CBeebies, right? Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's not going to appear just because you said his name. So what, do we have to get inside that building? No, we need to, we need to locate Dr. Swartz. Yeah, but the, he's not going to be on the roof. The idea is probably to get inside the building if he's actually in there. You know what I mean? I don't know where he fucking is yet. Let me at least locate the bastard. No doctor's going to be on the roof. Go inside the building. He's obviously inside the building. What, what possible reason would the doctor have for going on the roof? He won't, I won't be saying that, otherwise I mean, we really will have no channel left, <laughs> so I'm just not talking about He's not a doctor that helps with suicide. <laughs> if he is, why would he be on the roof? <laughs> Surely the idea is to help other people suicide, not you commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, I like the way that you call it suiciding. Because you can't say suicide properly. I say, I said suicide. I didn't say suiciding. You said suiciding? I did not. You did to start with. I did not. You did to start with, guys. <laughs> Why did you kill him? You just draw an attention to yourself, didn't you? Sorry, no. <laughs> I ran up because he's going to locate notice me. And I've got to kidnap the doctor. So wouldn't it be better to kill all these first? Oh. Hey Dr. Swartz! Sorry guys, she did say go up the stairs, it's just when she concentrates she's rather quiet. I'm collecting you and your precious cargo for our friend Mr. Darwin. Just that. Hey, that was easy. Stop running because people are right there and they're going to notice you very soon. Which won't, you won't fucking get down the stairs. Get down the stairs, you bastard. Oh, splendid! Wonderful to hear! 
I'll do my best not to call attention to how the missy bars in forgetting to warn me about the delicate situation which brings me here today. Where the fuck do we have to take him? Sorry guys. She's being rather quiet. She's concentrating. I don't no, know. let's come back to fucking throw him off the edge of the building with him. Try to not try to fucking kill him. I don't know why you're being so quiet though. Because at the end of the day, you've already done what you need to do. Why are you concentrating to do? Not um, throw him off the edge of the building. You don't have to do concentrate to do that though, because it doesn't let you throw him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I need to get across. I've got to figure out how to get across first. You don't get across by going on the train. You got to go. There's obviously a platform, you've got to go across the platform. I'm just trying to do that. So let's put up with guys on a daily basis with this, with this imbecile. I went to call him another name, but I was like, I can't use that word. That word hasn't been used in years. I went to call him a nincompoop. Yeah, but <laughs> the, the platform isn't going to be near the tracks. The platform is going to be away from the tracks, because otherwise you're going to have... No, fuck, I'm an idiot. I don't need to throw it. I don't need to go across the platform. How am I going to find them among all these pages? Stay back, Doctor! Richie. I had to kill this guy. No, I know you I know you did, I'm when he's gonna alert everybody else. The only problem is, is now that the crowd's kind of excited, or not excited, I'd say more scared. Go up the stairs. No, he's not there. No, but you know the two. There's two guards like right there. Yes, but luckily they're on the other side. Yeah, but they're gonna start. Uh, also, I knew one person would notice. Right, I've got to fight for this thread. What you mean, choosing your targets? Mm -hmm. Rather than just fighting the one right in front of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's two dead. Ha ha! Are you just going to leave me here? The problem we're gonna have, though, is whether you gotta get him across the platform or not. We're we're kidnapping a someone in a stadium full of or a station, sorry, full of people. Bit understand bit. So at least someone's gonna gonna notice. Don't tell me you didn't have to get him across the platform, all you needed to do really was get him out of the, the stadium. X, he's blocking. No. No, get him, because he's got the double sword, he can do more damage. Oh, run. Oh, come on, let me run, oh, you bitch. You know what, let me do this. It's not that guy, she's not very good at dodging, so if she has to deal with more than one person at a time. She's the guy that just made them like spike ridiculously. Yeah, but it's because you've got the wire over the... <sighs> I haven't got the wire over the phone, that's you. No, but it's because of the way... It's because of the way she gave me the control, guys. We've done it again. There's a ma There was a massive spike because I scraped it across the mic. Oh, well, we'll take that out. You guys won't hear it. Remember what I said there about him in a nincompoop? He really is one. Yeah, but you do realise, now that you've blooming died, I'm going to have to catch him, do what you did, and try not to get caught. Cool. He's going to put me back to the beginning. It's no, not... hopefully it'll give us the next part. Please go back. Please go back. No, because we didn't... We... No. <laughs> oh, well, you haven't got that far to go, you idiot. Yeah, but we didn't... Do you, we... To... do you want me to grab him again for you? We didn't get to the next part, did we? So it doesn't really matter. You know? Mr. Elliot. You can grab him, but it means putting him up. Because you're walking in a completely wrong direction. It's not that. It's, this is one of the hardest things to do, because it's given us someone to kidnap me in the middle of a busy train station. Who the fuck does that? Who the fuck, as a trained assassin, tries to kidnap someone in the middle of a train station? Holding on to their arm, no less. There you go, sorry guys, I paused it so we could think. Okay, we just failed the mission of remaining undetected. There you go. Yeah, but that's just the side mission, isn't it? Yeah. No, just keep him there. Press circle again. Press circle. I thought you had him. No, hold on, wait, you've got to fight this person. Oh. Yeah, down there, go down to the bottom. There. 
Oh, you now you tell me. I thought you'd see some of a big red fucking rocker across the head. I did wonder why I was getting shot, but luckily he's dead. Press circle. Press circles. Press circles. I am pressing circle. There you go. Jesus Christ, that was quite a few guys. No what? No, you. I've got a hold. I thought I had to keep hold of circle. You know why I have a hold? Of now let's see. Did it tell you to hold circle? Let's see if I can get him out. Oh my else. god, you've just been given the fucking easiest route. What? You mean downstairs? All you've got to do is go fucking straight! Oh no, hold on, wait, there's someone, there's someone about to fight you to around. There. Well, I don't kill the guy who's supposed to fucking kidnap. Calm down. Doesn't really matter as long as I manage to kill all these lot. Now let's see. circle. I am pressing circle, it's just you got to stand in a specific place to get out of You know why? It's because it doesn't let you do anything. You know the people around him. Wait, there's one running towards you. You know the people around him, yeah. Mm. If the if the guards see you, yeah, mm. it doesn't let you um, kid, uh, kidnap him. So basically, there's no point if the guards see you. If the guards see you, you've basically got to fight with the guards. Oh yeah, there, press circle. Regardless of what happens, if the guards see you, yeah, you've got no choice but to fight. I'm going to start walking with him, because running with him actually attracts more attention than you need. I told you, why the fuck are you running with him? <laughs> what normal individual do you know that kidnaps someone and is like, let me run with them? Yeah, person. but it's because I'm trying to Sorry get... guys, I just realised I'm shouting down the mic. I'm, tr I'm yeah. trying to get out as quick as I can. Fight these two, the zoom should be enough to you have to fight. There is a reason why I'm playing him at first and I'm not the ball one, the ball one not being in front of yeah. Mm. Can't do as much damage. Do you get what I mean? Bull, you realize ball one I think is the damn idiot. Just what I tell the idiot that the ball one has a done, I think. Yeah, but look, see? Right, I'll kid that with this guy again. Where is he gone? There, in the fucking hallway, out of the way! You agree that? No, I can see him, I can see him. I don't know why... I don't know why he doesn't run away. Who wouldn't run away? Someone that's about 80 that wears a bowler hat and his, and his name is Dr. Swartz. Yeah, but he's not actually that old, that's what I'm saying. He's not that old. I think... I think I've just messed up. No, you got to kill the imposter. No, wait, don't worry about them, he's running away! Babes. There's no point because you do realise if I don't worry about them, they're gonna kill me. You know what I mean? Okay, I thought, no, you know what it is? It's alright. I thought the mission ended after your imposter ran away, but it doesn't. I'm having trouble. You're a guy with a fucking meat cleaver. No, I, 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 I'm seriously in trouble. They're not. Then I, run! No, I can't run because I'm in the corner. Yeah, and if I run, they're just gonna chase me. That's the problem. If I run, yeah, all that's gonna happen is they're gonna chase me to the hill. And unless I get rid of them now, it's gonna be worse. Sorry, guys, as you can see, just doing a bit of dodging. That's what I mean, guys, about this guy. No, it's not that. I just, first of all, I like fighting. And secondly, I've realised, yeah, running away, unless it's absolutely essential, there's no point running away because they always find you in the end. <laughs> but I, I nearly killed one of them. I know, it was lucky. I realised he, sh he shot me, yeah, so I started attacking him first before I died. <laughs> and that's how you choose your targets and m make it before you uh, die. No, can you locate the guy? 
I don't know where he is, you can locate him. Why am I gonna locate him? I've just done all of that. I got him outside the train station to the spot and managed to basically fight off people. I'm, I managed right, to... Right, since he's not surrounding us, I feet away. Guys, I'm taking the horse and carrot. And you, and for some reason, you didn't take the biggest one. I mean, he's still quite large, this one, but... The only reason I fucking almost, I've almost fucking destroyed half of London there, is that's the fucking three-point turn. Don't worry, my driving's not usually like this, guys. Like I said, I'm just happy that for once you didn't choose the biggest carriage. Usually he chooses one of those 29 foot stage coaches and then one that probably can't get through the narrow streets. Oh, fuck. You know, like carriages like that, the ones we just nearly ran into. Thankfully, the one you've chosen this time is at least quite sleepy and can actually get through the narrow streets properly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Right, so now where's Dr. Swartz? Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm telling you, he doesn't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Although being a, being a crazed doctor, yeah. yeah. Why the hell didn't he just attack you with scalpel? That's what I would have done. Okay, uh, yeah, we got to chase after him, I think. <laughs> because you do realise he's going quite quickly. Is it? He's two feet in fucking front of me. No, but he's going quite quickly. You do realise you're basically going as fast as you can and you haven't got up to him yet. You go in. Yeah. Get him! Get him, you bastard! We're gonna get you, I swear to you! <laughs> we will get you. Nearly got him. Nearly. Go on, babe. You can do it. You can do it. What the hell are you doing? I uh, don't uh, know. Why the hell did you do that? The fucking thing took me all the way. Oh, actually, it's alright. I thought I had to go all the way back around. Now, you know why, though? You were going to jump off the carriage, and it, you basically the carriage went too far for you to do it, you see. <laughs> No, you know what happened? The fucking carriage was still skidding along, so I didn't even fucking kill myself. No, but it, for some reason you went to jump and then this decided the against it. That's why? what I said, because the carriage started skidding along, so I couldn't even fucking kill myself. No, but why didn't you just jump anyway? You're not going to kill yourself by jumping off a carriage that's going 10 miles an hour. No, but there was one coming towards me, so I was either run, get run over and, and die. Yeah, but you had loads of life left. I think the best thing to do now would be to basically try and jump on the carriage because I have a fear this carriage is going to get destroyed. Oh, basic <laughs> basically we just um, destroyed his, ca his carriage instead. No, I fucking just made him fly out the carriage. Yeah, he done in his Superman impression. Uh, I think the best thing to do would be to... to drop him. No, no, not, not don't drop him, you silly sod. Put him inside the carriage. So no, don't need to. What you're doing. Don't need to. So, so we don't need to take him anywhere. No, but I need to just go back and speak to Town Hall. Hey, we done it. <laughs> I mean, we killed him and destroyed half of London, but we done it. That was a fucking brutal death, though. Mhm. Mm Very brutal, but that's what makes it fun. <laughs> Why didn't you just try and go through a park lane with your horse and carriage? I need to be hit. Hello, Charles. At last, my heart hasn't stopped pounding. You have it. Wonderful. But where is Doctor Schwartz? He's very pleased. Most likely dead, I'm afraid. Yeah, never mind. He's fucking killed someone. At least I managed to get the fossil back. Told you, it's getting worse by the minute, guys. I tell you, I was recently approached I'm surprised he doesn't he know who we are with how old he is. On the condition mm. I work only for them. Obviously, I refused. Scientific knowledge cannot be bought. It belongs to everyone. Okay, so tell us to let these villains do their worst. He said basically scientific knowledge could not be forfeited, isn't it? Yeah. Yay, we completed it, guys! So that's another mission complete, guys. See you guys.
I don't uh, know why I just said it in such a quiet tone. It weren't that quiet. Didn't you see how la- how loud you actually were? All right. Anyway, bye guys. Like, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and make life fun. Right. See ya. See ya. Have you ever felt? Are you listening?